shakalaka, Bitcoin is looking suspiciously like 2013 plus Ethereum is poised to hit $20,000 and evidence why right now is the time to start stocking up on undervalued altcoins. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we are talking about Bitcoin, we are talking about Ethereum, we are talking about altcoins. Before we get into that guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Also come join us over on Twitter at the Crypto Love, where every week we give away one of these sweet shirts to one lucky winner. Now, we're going to start with Bitcoin, we'll work our way to ETH, and finally get to the altcoins. But let's take a look at Bitcoin. You can see that Bitcoin is getting pretty close to this area right here where we have the downtrend from the market highs, the cycle highs coming right here, this dotted line. Also, we have the top of this sideways megaphone pattern that Bitcoin's been in. As a matter of fact, we're going to encounter that between 42 and $44,000. If we can break past right now, it's roughly about $44,000 area. It is smooth sailing until we reach about $48,000 and then who knows because we could be on an upward trajectory. Now I should mention that if we take a look at the volume profile right now, we're just kind of sliding down that. So there is actually upward pressure pushing us, which could likely push us through this area right here. And if we zoom out a little bit, the last couple times that we had these blue dotted lines, this is when Bitcoin broke a downward RSI. Both times we had a 200% gain there, we had a 650% gain there. So who knows what we could potentially have coming up. And Raul Paul is saying, just an update, the log chart of Bitcoin now versus 2013 still fits decently well. As we can see here, the current price is in white, the 2013 chart price is in blue and pretty much it looks almost exactly the same except we had more of a wick off distribution instead of a blow off top like they had in 2013 so it looks like we could be heading back up and if we reach the same area this is looking like a 256 thousand dollar bitcoin now in the news today mining difficulty expected to increase for the first time since the china Crackdown, the positive adjustment, could be the beginning of a surge in hash rate the coming year. And as Willy Wu has pointed out previously, that price and hash rate has always been correlated. When we saw a drop in the hash rate due to the China crackdown, the price went down. Well, now in the news, we're seeing an increase in the hash rate, which could lead the price to soar significantly. As a matter of fact, not only do we have those things to look at, but William Clemente is saying here that the current wave of Bitcoin supply shock has a lot of momentum. This is a visual for the underlying wave of supply shock in the market. The last time we went from full reset to buy signal was September, although this current move is much more aggressive. If we take a look at this green line here, okay, the red line was when there was too much supply. This is when there's not enough supply. We can see here the stock RSI of the illiquid supply. It's flashing green. Last time it flashed green, price was 10,000 before going to $65,000. The time before that, uh, it was pretty low. And as a matter of fact, if we take a look, this is a 2017, 2018 back test. Every time it flashes green, price pretty much soars right afterwards. So we would expect that after this flash green, price is going to soar. As a matter of fact, if we take a look at the Bitcoin rainbow price chart, we can see that the price is starting to tick back up, has left green territory and now back into yellow hodl territory before we get into the orange and red areas. And this is something definitely worthwhile to keep an eye on as the price continues to go up to give you an idea of if and when you might want to sell. Not only that, but also the CBBI.info, the Colin Talks Crypto Bitcoin Bull Run Index, is another great indicator to know when you might want to sell. Now, I'm a fan personally of the Puel multiple for just looking at that as to know, oh, excuse me, the Pi Cycle Top as looking at that as when to know when to sell. But this takes a look at, I don't know, 11, 12 different indices and throughout all of them tells you the exact best time to sell. Right now, we're at a 57%. So definitely not the time to sell, wait for closer towards 80, 90, maybe even 100%. Now, Ethereum, this is a shocking graph. I've never seen this before. Rao Paul over on Twitter saying that ETH now versus Bitcoin in 2017, pretty decent 
correlation. We can see Ethereum in blue, Bitcoin in white, and it looks pretty similar. We might, based on this, potentially have a $20,000 ETH in the upcoming future. And is this surprising? No. Why? Well, first thing I wanted to show you is I just saw this for the first time, so check out the Ethereum rainbow price chart. Similarly to the Bitcoin rainbow price chart, both of these are available on blockchaincenter.net, but you can see right now we are just in the alt season index. We are not towards the flippening or but have we earned it or time to go back to Bitcoin or maximum bubble territory. So very interesting chart to check out. And guys, I wanted to bring this to your attention because this is rather shocking. In the past year, since August of 2020, Bitcoin, or excuse me, Ethereum on exchanges has dropped from 30 million to 20 million. A third of all Ethereum on exchanges dropped in the last year. At this current rate, that means in two more years, there will be zero Ethereum left on exchanges. Now, granted, the rate could change, but at this current rate, that is shocking, especially because coming up on August 4th, we have EIP 1559 which is basically like an Ethereum triple halving. The, the incoming supply is going to drop by 90% from 22,000 per day to 2,500 per day ETH. And because of that, we could potentially see the price skyrocketing, absolutely skyrocketing, like something like that. Now, that brings me to the last point, why now is the time to start looking for altcoin gems. So this right here is the altcoin season index, also on blockchaincenter.net. And as you can see right now, it's Bitcoin season. Now, what does that mean? Well, altcoin season is when 75% of the top 50 coins perform better than Bitcoin over the last 90 days. It's altcoin season. So guess what? That's not happening right now. Bitcoin is outperforming all of the altcoins. Well, what does this mean? Actually, this has been a great chart for being a contrarian trader. When Bitcoin is going, it's time to look for altcoins. When altcoins are going, it's time to think about getting back into Bitcoin. And this is definitely true because had you have started to put some of your altcoin gains back into Bitcoin all the way up until July or June here, you probably would have been doing pretty good. And now it's time to start looking for some altcoin hidden gems. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing I wanted to bring your attention to is this Grayscale DeFi fund. DeFi is a hot topic nowadays everybody who's just hearing about crypto they hear about bitcoin they hear about eth and then they probably hear about nfts and then dogecoin but then they hear about DeFi. and if we take a look grayscale has this new DeFi fund and just for your guys information these are the coins that they have listed in there might consider stocking up on some of these like uniswap compound MakerDAO, synthetics Universal Market Access, Ave, Curve, Sushi Swap, Urine Finance, and Bancor. Now, that's not it. Because what I have been doing recently is I've been having this 100x series. And these are my favorite videos to make because these are using the same exact strategy I used to pick out Matic back when it was a cent before 250 x So if you guys want to check out Crypto Love 100x, you could watch these videos to find out some of the next most likely tokens to rocket in this coming bull run. And just to give you a hint, I do it using token metrics. And they have on there, on Token Metrics TV, you can look at the Hidden Gems and Ian Bellina's portfolio to see about 10 other altcoins that are likely to rocket, like what Matic did to 250X. And right now, they have 25% off of Token Metrics. So you can find a link down in the description, also in the pinned comment. Click that link. Use the code TMGRADE. It'll get you 25% off. I haven't seen this much of a discount in about a year. So if you've been thinking about token metrics, or if you want to find out the next 10 most likely altcoins to 250x, you'll definitely want to check that out. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. I love you all very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.